Hello there, this is Adam from Me Canto Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a review and demo of All App Press by Austin Anthony. I'm going to give you a brief overview uh, as well as the pros and cons before we get into the product itself. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Basically, well, first of all, this is my review page, so um, you're going to see a link to this below the video. And if you like what you see throughout the course of this video, you can purchase All App Press through my review page, and you'll also receive my exclusive bonuses that are not available anywhere else. Not to mention, if you don't like them, I allow you to substitute any or all of the 31 products for items on the list, which is linked below. And then you follow these three steps to claim your bonus. But I don't want to talk too much about that. Let's talk about All App Press. First of all, this is a web app that can take any website, provided that it is mobile responsive, which means, for example, if we look at this website here, notice how it takes up the full screen. If we make it smaller and adjust the width of it, you notice how the whole page adjusts because it's adjusting to the size of our uh, browser and if you were looking at it on a mobile phone it probably looks something like that. Um, so that means it's responding, it's responsive. So it'll take any responsive website, which most websites nowadays are, and it'll turn it into a mobile app for iOS, which is Apple's operating system, um, or Android, and Android, I'm sorry. Um, so, and it does this by following a very simple step-by-step -step process, which you're going to see in this video, and I've also outlined it in my review. Now, since you're going to see all of that, let me skip down to what I, what I found to be the pros and cons of this product. Um, and, and for the record, and my score kind of reflects this, but I believe the, the pros do outweigh the cons. However, um, and you'll see what I mean in a moment, but however, if you are trying to build a very customized mobile app, um, this probably is not the right tool for that purpose. So the pros are that it's a fast and easy system to create or build mobile apps for yourself and clients. Um, it saves you thousands of dollars, potentially, instead of hiring mobile app developers. And again, this will depend on the type of mobile apps you have in mind for development. Um, it's a great opportunity to earn supplemental income by offering these services, as in mobile app creation services, to small businesses. Keeps you up to speed with how many people across the internet are constantly moving towards smartphone and tablet um, that have pretty much stopped using desktop computers to access the internet. Uh, and, and this is this is a very important thing going on here. Um, more and more people are just exclusively moving moving towards mobile. Now the cons are that you really cannot customize this mobile app after you've created it. Um, there's no way to go back and edit unless you uh, go back and change the original website and then reclone it and convert it to a new app. Your mobile app is restricted to whatever your website looks like. Basically, as I mentioned, you are creating a clone of the original website and turning that clone uh, into a mobile app that gets uploaded to the uh, Apple and Android stores. Since your app is basically a website, it will not have special features that are specific to mobile apps. And while this might be pointing out the obvious to you, you cannot take a website, as I mentioned, that is not already mobile responsive and turn it into an app. Your original website must be responsive, and the vast majority of websites are responsive these days anyway. Now, regarding one of the, um, the limitations that I mentioned earlier in which you're limited, your mobile app is limited to whatever your website is, therefore if you're someone who needs to do like advanced customization and things like that by the way here's a screenshot of what uh, my app would have looked like my website would have looked like as an app of course there would be a splash screen too for the app that which you'll see in a moment but if you created a mobile app with all app press 2.0 
and look at it after it's created and decide, you know, I wish I could I wish I could add this page or this form or, or whatever it is. There is a way around that, and I thought of this. Um, so technically you can customize, but this is the way around it. Basically, you would just go back and add that feature on your website. Because remember, you are cloning your website and turning it into a mobile app. Therefore, whatever you add to your website will be added to the mobile app. So there is a way, a, a kind of way around that limitation. So here we are um, inside of All App Press, the members area. As you can see, it's just very simple, simple and plain. And uh, you can see that I've been working on it. Uh, you can see that I can download these mobile apps that I've created at any time. I can regenerate them. Um, basically, the reason I have two apps for the same, the same uh, website, which is my own website, is because I have one app that is made for iOS and one that is for Android. So you do have to make them separately. However, it's not that big of a deal because it takes about 30 seconds, literally, to create each one. And you're going to see that I'm not exaggerating about that in a moment. So for now, we're going to come over and create a new app. And I'm going to, here's where you can create uh, iOS or Android. I'm going to go ahead and create an Android app. And I've, I've pulled a website that I would like to use because I always thought that All App Press 2.0 would work really good with the Shopify store. So this is the, the store that I found. It's just a random uh, Shopify store. And I'm going to copy that address to my clipboard. And just notice how the website looks right now. It is a responsive website. Um, and I'm going to paste the URL right there. I'm going to give it the same, same name as the store itself, which is Tatly. And of course... Oops. Of course, it kind of gives you that preview right here. Notice how it's responsive. It's already fit to the screen. Okay, and it's going to ask for two things. It's going to ask for an app launcher icon and an app splash screen. These are both images. Uh, one of them takes PNG images, uh, 96 by 96. The other takes app splash screen images. Now, these are things that are important because you're going to be listing your app if you want in um, the respective marketplaces for Google, uh, sorry, not Google, but Android and uh, Apple. So, and you also want that want to have that splash screen that comes up when you start your app. So let's do this. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to just go online and, and grab a couple random Im images to do this here. Okay, so I've gone online. I got a couple uh, random images. For for example, I just splash screen here. This was a splash screen that I downloaded. It's not not the um, logo for what I'm using, but this is how you would make a splash screen. Basically, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Use a gradient background and and put your logo in the center. That's what a lot of the others have done too. And for the um, what did they call it here? For the uh, app launcher icon and in my case and this is going to be different when you're creating a real app um, but I searched for app app launch icon and I used this one I just resized it to uh, 96 by 96 so you're gonna see that now I'm just going going by date modified here actually that was the wrong one um, date modified here wait I lost it Oh, there we go. Launch icon. Okay. Splash screen. App splash. Okay. This is optional. So that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. Build, generate app. We're already there. So I'm going to click on this. Um, I went ahead and paused the video while it was processing that. But as you can see here, your app has been created successfully. We see it here, App ID, Tatly, Android, the date, download app. Now when you do this, when you download the app here, it downloads an APK file. Okay, it was a small file. And that's going to be compatible with your mobile device. But, you know, that's really all there is to it. Um, you can send push notifications 
as you can see here, click on your app, send you message. But that's basically, you know, think about how quickly we did that. And then imagine, you know, if you have, for example, go to clients and I can't do this right now because you need the developer package. But for those of you that are thinking along the lines of creating your own side business with all app press by creating mobile apps for businesses or individuals or, or whoever, try, try to imagine this scenario in which they come up to you and say, hey, I want I have a website, but I want a mobile app too because, you know, everything's moving towards that and, and you know, uh, these other companies I know, they, they've just launched their own mobile apps and I want one for my company too. I want it for my brand. I want to stand out. I want to, you know, keep up with, with how things are out there and, and you know, and the going rate on these apps are literally, and I don't, I want to show you this because I don't want to make this think, want you to think I'm making this number up. So how much does it cost to develop a mobile app? You can see I searched for it before, and the answer is, according to a guest blog on TechCrunch by former CEO, blah blah blah, uh, survey found the most at the average cost to develop an app was $6,453 or between 3000 and 8000 even the low end of that is beautiful because met you could you could quote them at the low end of this say hey I could do it for you for 3000 bucks and guess what a lot of these guys some of them are going to have very specific um, guidelines and needs and and again you could do the shortcut I mentioned earlier in which you basically create a website on the side, uh, make that website have all of the features they want, and then come over to All App Press, generate your app, okay, or or whatever it is. Um, but uh, imagine how quick, in theory, how quick you could get to that three thousand dollars by making All App uh, by making an app using All App Press 2.0. Um, you know, from their perspective, they're thinking the the process of building a mobile app is highly technical, requires programming, this and that. In some cases, yes, not in all cases, but they don't need to know, and and they don't care what tool you're using to get the job done, as long as the job gets done. So keep that in mind. They don't know you're using All App Press 2.0. They don't even know it exists. They just know what they want, which is a mobile app, and in many cases. Since the nature of these guys can be very, uh, that they are very non-technical people themselves, um, they'll see this mobile app and, and they'll just be blown away by the fact that it is a mobile app and it has their company's logo and name and, and address and all that stuff on it. So just something to think about. Um, again, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I truly appreciate you taking the time to do so. Most of all, I hope it helped you whether it made you feel one way or the other about All App Press 2.0, I just hope I was able to move you towards that decision, whatever it was. So uh, if you enjoyed watching this demo, please keep in mind I have pro usually at least one new demo every week. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll see a lot of demos on uh, online marketing products, um, plugins, courses, software, all kinds of stuff that comes out. So that's about it. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And don't forget my free bonuses below if you did like All App Press, by the way.